Hey mamas, thank you for joining me on my channel. My name is Sarah and I wanted to make this video today to talk about my breastfeeding journey and kind of the ups and downs of it and dealing with um, low milk supply from the very beginning. So before I get into what I've tried for supply issues, what's worked, what hasn't worked, I first just wanted to basically tell all you mamas that if I could go back and teach myself a lesson from when I was a brand new mom with a newborn, I would just say to not put so much pressure on yourselves. Um, breastfeeding's hard enough as it is and we're all doing the best we can. That's all we can do. And as long as your baby is happy and healthy and you're happy and healthy, then that's all we can ask for and that's enough. So, going back to the beginning, we started supplementing with formula when Bradley was um, three days old. There was a lot of things that kind of led to that, I guess, and continuing having to supplement. But basically, um, our doctor told us that he lost a little too much weight and we needed to supplement. And at the same time, my milk was coming in, but... I was having some other um, health issues like a botched epidural that I was trying to get fixed um, and a lot of pain that I was dealing with from that. And I think that the combined um, issues of pain and being told we had to supplement and him losing weight, all of that together kind of prevented my milk supply from building up maybe as much as it could have. Um, I'm not sure about all of that, but but in any case, it did um, it did somewhat make me feel like a failure that I couldn't exclusively breastfeed since that was a goal of mine from the very beginning of pregnancy. So moving on to me trying to increase my milk supply, I pretty much started where most new moms start and that's with buying all these supplements that say they're going to help increase your supply um, and spending a ton of money on things like more milk plus mother's blend um, fenugreek blessed thistle uh, let's see what else brewers yeast drinking guinness beer um, all of the the teas and things like that um, and I'd say that if any of it helped, it was um, somewhat negligible as far as the amount to me. So I was pretty much down to about um, producing eight ounces a day by the time Bradley was uh, two and a half months old. Um, so we were supplementing with four four ounce bottles of formula per day and um, he would mainly just nurse here and there and then mostly at night and once in the morning. And, um, and to me that wasn't enough and so I decided to do some more research and what ended up working for me was looking into moms that have successfully relactated. So I started watching videos on that, reading all these blog posts and the, the main thing that helped moms be able to completely stop breastfeeding and then be able to successfully relactate at least part of their supply back was pretty much pumping um, constantly throughout the day. And so I had a Spectra S2 pump provided from insurance. And so I decided that I was going to try and pump every two hours during the day and once at night for a total of about eight times of pumping per day. Um, and so I did that for about a week straight and as you can imagine I couldn't really leave the house to do anything extensive because I had to be back within uh, two hours to pump again for another half hour and it was constant it was it was hard and it ended up working though my supply went from about eight ounces a day up to about 15 to 18 ounces a day so it basically doubled Bradley wants to say hello uh, yeah. Uh, and then um, I did that for about a week, realized it was not sustainable, and then Bradley got sick. He got a little cold, um, and all he wanted to do was nurse constantly. 
So what we ended up doing was I completely stopped pumping and he just wanted to, to nurse. What is it, sweet pea? You want mommy to hold you up? Okay. So, so yeah, so he was nursing um, all day and night, did not want to take a bottle because he wasn't feeling well. And I was like, wow, this is a lot easier than um, pumping. And so I was like, hmm, maybe we'll just stick with this. So what we ended up doing was um, completely stopping the pump. Um, I had somewhat reestablished my supply to the point where I was satisfied with it. We were still supplementing once he felt better with a bottle and a half to two bottles per day, but otherwise he only nursed and um, yeah, that really worked for us. So now whenever I feel my supply dipping rather than turning to any sort of supplements that are pricey, um, I'll have a few bowls of oatmeal for maybe two or three days, a couple bowls a day, and that seems to help my supply. Um, and then the other main thing is just keep the baby on the boob. Um, if you can, reduce the use of a pacifier and instead pacify by nursing. That will help to increase your supply as well. And, um, and yeah, I hope that, I hope that this helps. Um, for all you moms that are stressing out about dealing with low supply issues. In the end, I've decided now that, you know, he's fed, he's healthy, he prefers nursing um, over taking a bottle, which is why, one of the main reasons why I've decided to stick with it. But it's been a lot of work, it's been a long journey, um, but I'm glad that I stuck with it overall. So, mamas don't stress, just enjoy your baby and um, all will be okay. So I hope this was helpful and good luck with your breastfeeding journeys. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye.